Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius, August 9, 2022. You can do some important inner work with the moon in your soul sector today. Venus and Saturn form an awkward angle, influencing the first half of the day, and it can be challenging to know how to approach a matter or conversation. If you miss the mark, try not to fret or take it too personally since the timing is off temporarily. You may need a little more room for self-understanding before dealing with a problem confidently. Encountering some resistance is natural, and it actually helps you to draw on your creativity. There can be some adjustments in your thinking to be made now, after which you'll be in a far better position to reach your goals. Prepare for some sensitive, watery energy today and tomorrow. This is because sweet Venus, our goddess planet of love and beauty, spins within your wet solar eighth house of intimacy and sexuality. She sings a siren song over to Neptune, now diving for shells within your solar fourth house of home and domesticity. This means that now is the moment to turn the lights down low, bathe yourself in tender love with your partner, or if single, take a night to treat and please yourself. You will feel refreshed, cleansed, and purified in your body and soul. Slow down this morning while the moon is void of course. You will likely not get a lot done anyway since the sleepy lunar phase will make it challenging to tackle your to-do list. By resting up this morning, you will feel more than ready to forge forward when the moon enters your sign later in the day. Once in your sign, your sense of adventure will leap out with enthusiasm. Harness the lunar energy to quickly get through as much as possible so that you can enjoy the rest of your weekend. Are you thinking of going into business for yourself? You should be aware that being self-employed does not automatically mean you'll have more freedom. Of course, you'll be your own boss, but you'll also bear all the responsibility for the success or failure of your enterprise. If you quit, the whole thing will collapse. Think about it. Base your decision on reality not fantasy. Your energy and drive have no bounds. If you had it your way, you would do everything and at the same time. Even though your interests are varied, you should concentrate on what's relevant. Involve your friends and relations in particular. You will spend wonderful moments together, and have great memories of them. You're in a dreamy state today, you're pondering the weather and noticing how the sky reflects on the window. The next thing you know, your crush will be sharing their daydreams about you too. You're optimistic, willing to take risks. Self-reliance and the charm you possess gives you great confidence, if you suffer the indignity of being turned down by a potential date, this has little effect on the way you feel. There are people out there who appreciate what you offer and willing to share their love with you. You could be tapping into some interesting spiritual energies today. You've always had a strong intuitive side, and this part of you might be heightened today. You could be in the mood to read some inspirational literature, or be around uplifting people right now. Your lighter, loving side might take over and cause you to express affection for the people around you. It's great to access these harmonious feelings. A wonderful day in truth, notably in your sentimental life. You could be feeling like you have wings. You may meet someone uncommon who opens up totally new horizons to you. Sustained by your iron will, interested by the social aspects of existence, your humanism will open up new perspectives in your relationships. Let yourself be carried along by this communicative vibration. With the moon gone from Sagittarius by tomorrow and then not returning for another four weeks, this is a day for listening to your gut without overthinking things. With your subconscious able to download information faster than you can process it at the time, the less you can overthink things the better especially as there is likely to be a lot of information coming in from all four corners of your life and of the solar system. A week after a friendly aspect between the Sun in an adventurous part of your chart Jupiter, in his early days in retrograde motion in your romantic sector, the Moon is acting as a bridge. The Moon is making a friendly aspect to both as it moves through Sagittarius, bringing a mix of romance, adventure and nostalgia together again. Our eyes in the sky. A trine between the moon and Neptune could make waking up difficult today, 
so try not to hit the snooze button too many times. The energy will be light and lofty, giving us the opportunity to enjoy a stress-free morning as long as we don't sleep in too late. A pleasant aspect between the Moon and Pluto gives us a boost of energy, so be sure to spread some joy around as you move through the day. If you're especially empathic, people might come to you for healing through conversation. Make sure to set boundaries for yourself, and cut the talk short if you begin to feel tired or drained. Pluto blows a kiss to the Moon and Neptune today as well, making it a great day to release frustrations that are no longer serving you. By leaning into transformation and emotional growth, we can evolve both personally and psychically. It's also a great time to daydream about your future. Think big today about your long-term goals. The moon is helping you find structure in your dreams and goals, so jot down a list of things you'd like to do and how you'll accomplish them. This evening, the moon forms a conjunction to the north node, helping you see your future more clearly. Also, new information could come to the surface now that changes the way you walk your path moving forward. As the evening wraps up, Lady Luna and Saturn share some positive vibes in the cosmos, and the universe rewards those who make pragmatic plans for the future. Although our judgment can be temporarily clouded during its perfection, this transit speeds up the pace of our correspondence in invigorating ways, enabling us to advocate for our passions. We may be especially keen on pitching a personal project to the variety of people who cross our path now. It's currently easier to express ourselves with confidence, and we are less liable to shy away from the spotlight, vocally demanding credit where credit is due. Discussions become serious, revolving around the duties we have to others or to our unfinished work, which naturally prevents us from frittering away the day in idle chatter about our personal desires. The implication that we are too self-centered in our thinking or perhaps blind to the issues can make us defensive. After all, we are under the impression that connecting from a place of authenticity is the surest way to forge respectful relationships. Nevertheless, we might have to contend with unpleasant interactions which cause us to feel shunned or discourage us from saying what is on our minds.